So the first one I always ask is, do you homebrew your own campaigns or do you usually run modules? It has kind of shifted over the years. When I first started out, all homebrew all the time for running the game. Only recently did I kind of give another shot to the adventure modules, the books, because I tried one once when I was working a, a job where I was away from home and I didn't have a lot of prep time. So I tried one and I tried running it, running it just from the book. It did not go well. And so I gave Curse of Strahd a chance recently and really like tried to make it my own and not just like read each chapter each week and try to like just run it out of the book. And that was really successful. And I think that's because I think the books are very open ended and some people don't like that, but I'm very strong with improvisation. And to me, the adventure modules give you like 10 out of 100, like 10 percent of what you need. And I thrive in that other 90% as long as I have a good skeleton to go off of. And so I really like those modules and I'm starting to use them now for inspiration. I'm kind of building up to the next homebrew setting I'm going to run. When some of my friends are done running some modules for me, I'm actually a player right now. I'm not DMing actively right uh, weekly at the moment, but that's kind of my relationship with modules is I see them as a good source of inspiration and they are fun to run and they have a lot of cool ideas like people kind of brush over that wizards of the coast put some really good set pieces in these modules really mm -hmm. interesting characters with some twists that i've never seen before on some monsters and some character archetypes there's a lot to gain from them even if you're not like running them right out of the book as they're written there's a lot of value in there that's how i see it so what was the what was the first one that you ran that didn't go as well that was it's, there's two names. There's Tyranny of Dragons and Horde of the Dragon Queen. I forget what's the lower level one, but I ran the lower level one. <laughs> yeah, so Horde of the Dragon Queen. So, Horde of the Dragon Queen, yeah. Yeah, so because the reason I ask is because it sounds like I had a very similar story arc to you, where I ran Rise of Tiamat, which is the higher level part of it, for it was pretty terrible <laughs> so it was like oh, i'm never gonna run a module again i'm just gonna do my own thing and then i homebrewed for however many years and then went to a curse of stride because everyone was raving how good it was and since then i've also done um the water deep one water deep dragon heist and w have at least read the others as well so so because as you said, you can get some really good ideas. There's some really good set pieces. There's good character ideas. There's good item ideas. So I like to read them to at least get some ideas. But yeah, it sounds like we've been uh, had a pretty similar character arc there. Yeah. <laughs>